Hello YouTube's Grossama and here I have today is the SD Cross Silhouette Unicorn Gundam Phoenix narrative version. So with this kit it is basically a really awesome SD design of the Unicorn Phoenix and it has two different kinds of modes one being the normal SD and the other being the Cross Silhouette. So without further ado let's take a look at the SD form. And here is the SD form. So overall the SD form does not look bad whatsoever. I actually really like it. I would just say that the cross silhouette form is definitely going to be my favorite and kind of like my go-to, but this one does not look bad at all. So let's take a look at the details. So take a look at the head first. There is going to be a clear blue piece that is going to be inside and you just slap a sticker right over it, but I'm just going to keep it normal because I'm not uh, basically going to use the sticker at all. So uh, it looks really good, a little blue piece underneath and the overall color separation is very very nice and neat on this uh, pretty much the head part and for the chest the chest is also going to have a clear blue piece on the inside of that it looks super good and i'm very happy that they went with the clear parts instead of using stickers because in this entire kit all the cycle frame is clear parts um, there's really no locations that i can see that requires you to paint some more uh, clear blue but uh, we'll definitely get into that and there's also a clear blue on the side skirts but no clear parts right here on the back skirt. And also looking on the backpack, none of the clear parts are going to be on here. So this is actually one area you're definitely going to have to paint in. And the arms are going to have some nice clear blue in the shoulders as well as in the forearms right there. But nothing that's going to be in the bicep area because that is just going to be a poly cap or a little uh, peg that plugs in into the shoulder. And for the legs, you're going to have clear blue parts that are going to be for the knee and it looks good. The details on the legs look super, super fine and the articulation is not too bad. So let's just roll right into the articulation of the overall kit. So the head is going to have very limited movement, but it can rotate back and forth. Shoulder is going to be on a ball socket. Bicep is going to be on a ball and socket as well. Same for the hand. Waist can rotate back and forth. Ball and socket for the front skirt. Ball and socket for the front skirt. Ball and socket for the leg, ball and socket for the ankle skirt, and lastly a ball and socket for the foot. And the beam magnum is going to be one solid color which will be gray, so you will have to do some coloring in if you want the, uh, the accuracy. And it plugs very nicely into the hand with no issues and it's actually very very firm and very tight. You also get two beam sabers that are already going to have the beams attached. So I can't say I'm a fan of it being one mono color like gold, but that's what being a model is all about. So to the paints I go. And here is the Armed Armor DE Shields. Now this is super, super cool. I've always loved these DE Shields. Um, it's gonna have clear parts as you can see right there on the shield. So nice little clear blue and this can actually turn into the normal shield. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. So all you need to do is just take off this top piece right there, and then you take off this piece, take this little piece off right there, and you're gonna take this bottom part off, and voila, you actually have a normal unicorn shield. And so if you really, really want to make a basic unicorn or even a banshee, then you could definitely do so with the shield just like that. Nice little stabilizers actually have their own little bit of articulation. So you will have like a little ball and socket right there. And then there is going to be the one point of articulation right here. And then they connect on this solid little gray piece just right there on these little pegs. And then you would connect this directly onto the backpack like so. And before we get to the cross silhouette, I wanna just talk about the sticker sheet. Not really too much. A lot of that can be painted with a gold marker or any kind of gold uh, that is very similar to that tone. And you're also gonna have the eyes, which is very hard to paint, but if you have the talent, definitely go ahead and aim for that. Uh, but yeah, not really too many stickers, mostly just gonna be for the shields as well as for the head. So that's actually a pretty good plus for this SD. So when it comes to what are the differences between the SD and the cross silhouette mode, Mainly you're gonna be looking at the joints within the elbow as well as the knee region. And so right here, as you can see, this is going to be the cross silhouette frame and it's going to allow you to have a pretty awesome bend, which is roughly nine degrees. And so the cross silhouette inner frame is going to be used for the torso as well as the chest area. And it's also gonna be used for inside here, uh, which basically just looks like it extends the hips a little bit more. 
And then the cross silhouette frame is going to have a nice little leg uh, inner frame as well. This is just going to allow it to have a nice bend, uh, which ultimately is going to help it stand and be stabilized on the ground, as well as have some great aerial poses. And the eyes will also be turned around and it's going to be an individual part underneath the gray piece. And ultimately, I would say that this is definitely the optimal um, option for you to display this kit. The SD is pretty cute and really awesome in its own right, but this kit, man, with the cross silhouette frame is going to look super, super dynamic. So with my final thoughts on this kit, overall, it is beautiful. I just, I love everything about it. Honestly, I'm not too big into the normal SD mode, but the cross silhouette mode is always a feast for the eyes and something I just truly love. Uh, the only downfalls I would say it has is some parts are a little bit loose, but I think that's just to be expected when it comes to these SD kits. Uh, so maybe not take it too seriously, but as a modeler, I think we can go ahead and definitely improve on this. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't really come with a, you know, overload of stickers, but the stickers that it does come with can easily be painted, so that is not really any kind of issue. But other than that, it is super, super fantastic to build, very beautiful to look at, and amazing to pose as well. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, definitely cannot wait to paint this kit in the future. But if you do like this kit, let me know in the comment section below. If you did not, also let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.